Hi everyone, so I'm back with a great off campus opportunity and this one is with HPCL. So if you don't know by now, HP or HPCL is basically hiring with their hiring challenge right now. So this is a great opportunity for all of you people that want to get an internship with HP. Because let me tell you a hiring challenge like this will have significantly lesser competition compared to a hiring challenge by JustPay or Flipkart. So you'll face very less competition here and the chances of you winning this is going to be extremely high. So I highly suggest that all of you guys make sure to register for this. So let's talk about this hiring challenge in details. Let's talk about the rounds and let me give you guys tips on how you can win this. So everything that you need is going to be within the video. Watch the entire video and then go register for it. The link to register is in the description box and the last date to register is 27th of October. So make sure that you register before that. And soon down the line, you'll have Diwali season and I know you guys will get busy and then you'll forget about it. So it's better to register now itself. Okay. And if you're someone who's having difficulty in off-campus placements, if you're not able to get shortlisted in off-campus opportunities, or you don't know how to crack the interviews, you don't know how to prepare or any other issues you're having in your placement journey, then you can connect one-to-one -one with me where I will personally help you, guide you and mentor you. And I will make sure that you're able to crack your dream company. So you can connect one-to-one -one with me. The link for that is going to be in the description box. All right, coming back to this opportunity, like I said, HP is conducting a hiring challenge. And let me tell you guys the details about it and then we'll talk about the rounds that it is going to have. So it is called HP Power Labs and it is a great opportunity. Like I already told you, you'll have very less competition here and they have 50 plus internship opportunities. So you'll have 50 plus open position, which is a lot if you compare it to other hiring challenges where there's like handful of opportunities here. You have 50 plus internship opportunities. And apart from that, you have cash prizes worth 5,75,000 or something like that. Okay, so you have a great chance of getting selected here. Now, let's talk about the eligibility first because you guys keep asking about the eligibility. And this is going to make you a very happy person because the eligibility here is very lenient. There's practically no eligibility. Okay, that means that as long as you're an undergrad student or a postgrad student, in any branch, any stream, any bachelor's degree, anything, you are eligible for this. Okay, in essential, what they mean in practicality, what they mean is that as long as you're over the age of 18, you are eligible for this. Okay, and this is why I like these hiring challenges so much is that there's no shortlisting for this. There's no shortlisting. All you need to do is apply and directly you'll become a part of the competition and the rounds that you'll have to take. And of course, we'll talk about the rounds in later part of the video as well. Okay. So this is extremely important opportunity. It doesn't matter. That's why I put open to all in the you know, thumbnail or in the title. That's why I put open to all because it is literally open to all. And see, a lot of people have this mindset that oh, hiring challenges are very difficult to crack. People think you will not be able to crack hiring challenges. Let's not take part in hiring challenges. I've seen so many people not take part in these things. And this is a big mistake you guys will be doing because these hiring challenges are the easiest to get shortlisted into and they're the easiest to crack because of the lack of competition. Likewise, Volkswagen had Mobileathon with which Volkswagen hires, right? So all of these opportunities are coming. I highly suggest that you register for all of them, especially for hiring challenges. You have a better chance of getting selected. Okay. And here you have 50 plus internship opportunities. So it's not that you have to be in the top 10 or you have to be number one. No, nothing like that. The top 50 participants will be able to get a chance to get an internship. Okay, so I already told you last day to register is 27th or 28th of October, but better duration now itself so that you don't forget later later in the end because a lot of people then they say Ki, we forgot and then it got closed. Don't be in that whole scenario. Okay, now let's get into the hiring challenge, what it is going to be about, right? So right now it is shortlisting, uh, just registering, no shortlisting as such. Right now is the registration phase. All you need to do is register for it. That's it. Okay. There are two ways to register. You can register individually, like you can register as your own person, or you can register as a team of one to four members. If you want that, you want to take part with your friends, you have a couple of people around you that you want to take part with, you can do that. Or if you want, yeah, I want to you know, have my skills alone, I have enough skills, I want to take part alone, you can do that as well, which is something I like that they're giving you the option of being alone or being with a team, completely up to you. My suggestion to you is if you have very good skills, go alone. If you feel like you need other people and you don't have enough skills, you're a newbie to these things, go with the team. It doesn't matter. Either one of them will not bring you chances. It's not like one is better than the other. Both are on the same level, participating individually or in a team. 
Now, there is one thing though, and that is that the first round is going to be an online assessment. So usually hiring challenges are more like hackathon or ideathon, right? Where you have a project submission, idea submission. So those are there. But before that, you have an online assessment here. This is something that is unique about HP Power Labs that you will be facing an online assessment here. So we'll have a variety of things that they'll be asking in online assessment. All of the topics are in the description box. But in a nutshell, it is going to be about data interpretation. It's going to be about aptitude and there'll be few HP related questions. OK, so you can have a look at all of the topics and then you can prepare accordingly. I've made plenty of videos about how to prepare for aptitude because a lot of companies ask aptitude. So aptitude is not going to be an issue at all. Aptitude is literally the easiest thing to do if you have enough practice and you have pretty much a week, at least a week before the tests and all begin at least a couple of weeks, a week or two. So you can easily prepare and, you know, basically brush up on the topics. And even in aptitude, the most important topics, I'll make a list of that as well. And that list is also going to be in the description box. So not only you'll have a list of topics like aptitude, DI, etc. And in there, I'll also give you the important subtopics so that you can prepare accordingly. Now, after you go through the online assessment, then you'll have to come across the other parts that will be the proper hackathon sort of a thing. You'll have idea submission, you'll have uh, semi-finale, finale, all of those things like a proper hackathon, ideathon or techathon, you can say sort of, right? That usually other companies also host time to time. So if you're completely new to hackathons or ideathons or techathon, you've not taken part in the new of these things i highly suggest watching my video which is a complete guide on all of these things how to take part all the way to how to win the mindset the idea everything is covered in that so i've made an entire video about this i've made a couple of videos actually so i highly suggest that you go and watch those videos so that you are in the right mindset and you know what it is exactly that you need to prepare for because these things are different than coding challenges people in college they are aware of coding challenges they're aware in, aware of interviews but there are people who don't know how an ideathon works, how a hackathon works, how a techathon works. So it's very important that you know and you prepare accordingly. Okay. So complete guide is in the description box. Watch that video so that you get a good idea. Okay. And there's another benefit of this. And this is something that a lot of people don't talk about. A lot of people say, do CP, do this, do X, Y, Z. That is fine. But a lot of people have don't have a lot of things in their resume, right? And doing something like this, taking part in these hiring challenges, even if you don't win an internship, even if you don't come in the top 10, even if you just qualify a few of the rounds, you'll still have something to put in your resume because having hackathons in your resume is a great way to get noticed. It's a great way to impress your recruiters because the more you take part in these hackathons or these techathons, of course, your skills are going to increase. You'll be able to network more. You'll have a team. You'll be able to understand more about the industry. And apart from that, you'll have something to put in your resume. These are the things that will show to the recruiter. Yes, this person was not just sitting at home or was not just sitting on his chair the entire four years of his bachelor's degree. He actually went out and did multiple things, took part in multiple things. These are the things that will give you a ton of experience. And of course, if you do well, you're getting an internship, you're getting a lot of cash prizes. And it's not that difficult to win. I know a lot of you guys have this mindset, yo, I can win this, I can win this, I can Don't have that mindset. It's very easy to win these things, guys. You just need to have the right mindset and the right skills. Both of those things I've extensively talked about in my channel. Okay, so what are you waiting for? Go click the link in the description, register now and try your best and surely you'll be able to get one seat of an internship. And apart from this, I'll be bringing you guys a lot more off-campus opportunities. Since the past week, I've been bringing you guys opportunities non-stop. All I'm asking for is that you support me by subscribing to the channel and make sure that you watch the videos as soon as it comes. And if you need any help, you can connect one to one with me with that as well. You can connect one to one with me as well. The link for that is going to be in the description box. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Please subscribe and watch out for more videos.